My dad had a, a little sawmill down behind the house that he did a little custom sawing on. And I, I got exposed at age 10 to helping him on the mill. And, and I think I got the sawdust in my blood there. And I decided at a very early age that I wanted to be a forester and, and maybe someday own enough land that I could make a living off of it. Growing up with dad, uh, we spent a lot of time on the weekends in the woods. Uh, he would be cruising woodlots and he'd take us with him. So we grew up with an appreciation for nature and um, what you can do with it. By 1800, uh, Connecticut and most of Mass was 80% or so cleared for agriculture. And now that's completely reversed. Connecticut is about 60, 70% wooded, Massachusetts a little more. A forest provides clean water. Our forests also provide products. They provide timber. We all live in houses, mostly made of wood. Uh, that wood has got to come from somewhere. It's important because it's conserving a resource in southern New England that is providing major public benefits. In New England, we really don't do any clear cutting. We're doing what is known as selective thinning. And typically that means taking out the worst and leaving the best. And after several cycles, 20 year cycles, you've got nothing left but the best. So there's a lot of, not major, major costs, but there's a steady drip, drip, drip of costs. And, and these have to be covered somehow. So we need income. So one source of income we have in, in Southern New England anyway, is, is recreational leases because the timber is is a, is a major source of income, but it doesn't come annually. It comes every 15 to 20 years. And, and the forest is no different than your flower garden or your vegetable garden. You've got to weed it and thin it if you're gonna get the right product in the end. Bill has been a proponent of practicing really good forestry. So he's been a big proponent of what good forestry is and showing how he does it on his land and helping other landowners do that as well. Trees are beautiful, people relate to them, they become part of their lives. We understand that. But we do have to manage our forest to provide the forest products that we use every day, to provide the wildlife habitat that people want to see. So there is an active management role that takes place and that involves harvesting some trees. And part of our work at Whole Forest Products is to try and work with landowners to help them grow beauty and value in their woods. And when landowners get income from their forest, they're more likely to keep their forest as a forest. Forestry is a long-term process. It's, it's beyond our lifetimes. If I cut a tree today, it may benefit me in some way. But if I prune a tree today that won't be a soil log for 50 years, well, it's not going to benefit me, it's going to benefit someone down the road. So you've got to think long term. Aldo Leopold pointed out in the Sand County Almanac, the idea of cutting wood and slicing through the annual rings, cutting through time and memory. And that's a really good analogy for our business because we are working every day with a resource that's only here because of the people who came before us, who created the conditions for these trees to grow and prosper. And we're trying to do the same thing in our business. Sustainability is at the heart of our business. I think what excites me the most is um, to see him and his family business find a way to keep that business going through many changes over the last decades. He's an example of somebody that's done that for, for a number of decades. And the business is still going and still growing strong and his family's involved in it. Forests are soothing to us. And I think forests provide a sense of place. I have a saying, we Americans are intent on paving our way to oblivion. And it, I don't know, as a country person, it's just not very pleasant to me. I think a lot of what we've done is to try to do our little bit to preserve that rural character in southern New England.
It's a, definitely a huge honor to receive this award, especially it being the first time ever presented in New England. I'm really happy that Bill was the one to receive the award. I couldn't think of anyone more deserving of that. Oh my gosh, I was super excited. Just really pleased that he has this honor to add to his name.